Hi, I'm Michael Sandler, uh, once again talking to you about different issues in bankruptcy. Today I'd like to talk to you about filing an emergency bankruptcy case. Um, I have a client now who came in uh, to talk to me recently uh, for his mother. It's actually his mother would be the client and she has a reverse mortgage on her house and she thought that the mortgage company was paying the taxes on the house for the past couple of years, but they haven't. And the county is about to foreclose on our house because taxes haven't been paid. So we need to file an emergency bankruptcy case. Uh, an emergency bankruptcy can be filed in very quick turnaround, as quick as an hour, really. There's just a couple things I need. Um, as with any bankruptcy case, you need to have a credit counseling certificate. Um, when you file bankruptcy, there's two certificates you have to get, one before you file called credit counseling and one after you file called debtor education. The credit counseling will typically take about an hour. A counselor is going to talk to you about your assets and your debts, um, your monthly income and your monthly expenses, um, and see if they can come up with some kind of budget for you to try. Uh, I've gotten one budget from these places in the past 10 years. It's kind of a joke, but you still have to do it and you have to get the certificate to file a bankruptcy case. Um, I have a list of credit counseling companies and a website, a government website, where they're all listed. There's over 100 of them. But that's the first thing I need. Uh, the second thing would be your picture ID and proof of your social security number. Uh, social security number proof would be the actual social security card or um, so recent W-2 or 1099 from an employer. Uh, tax return would not be sufficient. It needs to be one of those other items. And those are what are um, uh, acceptable to a Chapter 7 trustee. Um, there's also some forms, some disclosures that need to be signed that I would go over with you, a retainer agreement, credit authorization so we can pull your credit, and then there would be fees involved. And the fees vary depending on whether we're doing a Chapter 7 or a Chapter 13. Um, and if it's a Chapter 13, what I think the likelihood of success would be. If I think there's a high likelihood of success, then we can put most of the fees in the case. If not, then the fees would uh, typically be required before filing. But um, the credit counseling takes about an hour, and if you come into my office with that and the other items, we can file your case right away. It's called a bare bones filing. Uh, a typical bankruptcy filing has about 50 pages. This one has less than 10, um, but we, it gets us that case number, so I can call the uh, attorney that's garnishing your pay, or I can call the firm that's gonna do the foreclosure on your house, or I can call the firm that has just repossessed your car, and we can get those items back for you, or we can get your car back for you if it's a chapter 13, or we can cancel the foreclosure and stop the garnishment, and get the garnish funds back for you if it's before the garnishment return date. Um, so if you think that you don't have any hope, and that uh, you need a quick turnaround in action, to get your life back on track, please give me a call because we can file a case very quickly and very easily right over the computer from my office. Uh, if you have any other questions regarding this uh, and your particular situation, please give me a call right away uh, uh, or shoot me an email. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.